artist Helen Knowles, um, who also curated the exhibition, and this is the founder of the Birthrights Collection, the first contemporary art collection uh, looking at the images and depiction of childbirth. So welcome. I like it's a fantastic exhibition. It's a very challenging exhibition. Um, what were your what was your objective when you thought about putting all these pieces which have been individually shown but putting them together as one yeah. collection? Well the thing about the representation of childbirth is it's quite taboo. But women online are sharing their births all over the world so it's a kind of funny contradiction because on one level um, you know people find it difficult to look at these images but on another level some of the YouTube videos that these these images are sourced from achieve like five million hits then someone censors them so it's kind of looking at why they are to do and what it you know what what is it that makes these images challenging? I'm not saying that there's one way to give birth, there isn't, there's many ways, but I'm interested in how culturally we look at images of birth. And I mean, if you look down the ages, birth has, has been depicted, you know, um, the Mayan codices, the Sheila and the gigs, but these days um, it does, it, it causes attention. And then also, if you look online, when you look at an image, uh, look at a YouTube video, um, if you look at the links, there's also a lot of pornography. So there's a lot of ambiguity about what it is when you're looking at that image and pe what people are used to and what they see as normal and what they don't see as normal. So that, that's what this exhibition is really about and bringing the images together and just bringing them into one space so that um, you know it starts to raise those questions really. And do you think that the very space affects the, sort of the value system of the images? For example, whether they change their meaning when they're on YouTube, when they're in an art gallery, and also when they're in a sort of science institution, whether it's yeah. a hospital yeah. or a museum. Well, it's interesting because um, previously I um, curated an exhibition at the Glasgow Science Centre, and we showed an image which was appropriated from the midwife Ina May Gaskin, who's um, written some incredible books in the 70s and recently. And um, Hermione Wiltshire appropriated her image, and it's a woman. Um, in ecstatic labour and the reception that we got in the science centre was that they didn't want it shown in the uh, entranceway to the exhibition and actually they probably would have rather ha not have it shown. They, they, want, they were more happy with an image of a woman undergoing a forceps delivery than a woman ecstatic in childbirth. So it's, I suppose what, it was that experience that sort of led me along the line of looking at these YouTube videos basically. And yeah, I mean, I just think it's, um, you know, my practice stems from kind of my curatorial investigations as much as, you know, as anything else, so, yeah. But do you want to read the actual images? I mean, obviously, the choice of image, oh, right. and then sort of how would that lead on to how you then use the colour and the yeah. pixelation to represent each one? Okay, well, um, I mean, I just literally trawled through YouTube. Yeah. Um, the videos that I was drawn to were where women were very empowered in their experience. So, um, and I, I also I'm interested in, may, in, in depicting birth not as an abject experience, not as something that's sort of um, terrifying, but something where, you know, the women are in control and like it's almost celebratory as well. And I think that's quite different from the way um, people have made work in the past about women's bodies. Do you think so that's something that's changing just in the way we perceive birth? In general, in yeah, because age. I think that women, um, you know, the very fact that women are going and posting their births up online, I mean, there's all like you can't, I mean, obviously, there's all different kinds of births up there, yeah. so you know, you've got these caesareans, you've, you've got everything, but I think in Western culture, women don't get the chance to. Um, experience other women's births and that's a problem so what they're doing now is they're posting their births up online and that's the virtual way of understanding birth that's what's changing and that's what's interesting is the access yeah. to it rather yeah. than the actual perception yeah. Here we have Poppy Bowers, who co-curated the show. She's also assistant curator at the Whitechapel Gallery and has previously worked um, for the Welcome Collection. So, welcome, thank you. Uh, first, 
well, I guess, just what drew you to this subject, this exhibition, um, this very challenging exhibition, and why do you think it's important that, that such an exhibition does exist? Well, I met Helen um, a few years ago on her project Birthrights when she set up the first exhibition that really explored contemporary art um, that dealt with childbirth. So, I, I was in touch with Helen already and then she told me about her um, sort of her discovery of all these um, films online on social, the use of social media for women to sort of um, present their um, birth videos. And from that, um, we got talking about doing, she was telling me about her prints and because I knew Helen's work and I, I was knew about the sort of very vigorous sort of background that, where it came from, I was really interested in working with her again. Um, and so that's how this came to happen, was just really talking about these prints and thinking about it would be great to put them together um, and to present them all together. Um, Do you find there's been a difference in the acceptance in the science world, the art world, towards depicting childhood? Yeah, absolutely. It definitely sits within the science uh, bracket. I think uh, Helen previously, when we did Birthrights, we found it very difficult to sort of penetrate the sort of contemporary art institutions and contemporary art kind of world of sector with it. It's just not a topic that people are interested in, and and I think it's reflected in if you look at contemporary art, you know, the, the sort of um, presence of birth imagery in contemporary art is very, very. Um, you know, slim is very, uh, it's its not common at all. And even when I started working on this project, I started to research artists who'd work with childbirth. There's, there's a handful of, of notable art, you know, notable works. And so it feels very radical, which is quite strange for this sort of era that we yeah. live in, this modern day and age, that something should be so controversial. Yeah. Should be so it's interesting because there's lots of different um, responses you hear from people. And, uh, you know, when I started working on it, I started, you know, I talked to people a lot colleagues and friends and family and about, oh, you know, talk about Helen and talk about what she's working on. And it was really interesting to see people's responses and generally it was a bit like just awkwardness and, um, and just not quite sure, like, oh, but why? Why would you want to do that? That's the most common question. And, it, and I think it is, that, it is that sort of tension between it being, you know, seen commonly as a sort of very private, intimate moment. Um, and this sort of confusion or, you know, people are not quite understanding why you would want to make that public. Uh, or why publicly talk it or publicly show it. I think that, and that's where it becomes quite tense, when you show these images. Um, because it's just not, I think, it's just not, it's not, um, it's not common enough imagery to see. So people don't quite understand how to... Austin, who is not only an artist but works for New Scientist. Um, and rather topically, she was on Twitter today and tweeted a comment about her expectations for the exhibition tonight um, and how she said it it looked less than a than a painless process. Welcome and hello. How have so what were your expectations coming to the exhibition and how have they changed now that you're here? Well, um, I came here with slight feelings of trepidation actually because, you know, I've never had children and I find the idea of childbirth quite off-putting, you know, um, and I was quite intrigued to find out, you know, what was going to be shown because I hadn't seen very many images. Um, since I came, I was really quite surprised by how peaceful and restful uh, most of the women in the images look. And so I sent my tweet out going, oh, it looks painless, but I doubt it is, kind of thing. And then I just, since I sent that, I was talking to a lady who has had children of her own, and uh, she tells me that what we're looking at in each of the images here is the moment when the pain stops and there's a release. And so 
suddenly, you know, it's euphoric and everything comes together and you're sort of in this blissful, um, she said, almost orgasmic experience of giving birth. Um, and that kind of tallies better with, with what I'm seeing here than my uninformed ideas of childbirth. Hello, my name is Liza Brett. Um, I'm seeing Helen Knoll's show and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, there's something slightly abstract about the work. It's very pixelated and beautiful, beautiful saturated colour. Um, I'm so impressed with the scale of it and um, I also just feel that this is a really, really important subject and that's why we're here because if you think about art and science and the way that people react to a naked picture of the woman giving birth. Apparently there's been some reaction, quite a lot of it, where people have instantly felt that it's porn. Now, that's because that says something a lot, a lot more about the culture that we live in. Uh, an attractive woman giving birth is not seen to be giving birth, she's seen to be a porn star, okay? But we should be looking at the whole continuum now how did how did that baby happen to be pregnant happen to be how did that woman happen to be pregnant happen to be having a baby um, would it have been because of sex but not pornographic sex perhaps pleasurable sex with someone they wanted to be with that they're now having a child with so uh, we need to look at this and see it for the good that it is and how natural it is hello I'm Anna um, I work in journalism and particularly with social media so obviously I was fascinated when I saw that um, these prints are drawn quite um, quite a lot from YouTube and social media and the way that women have been presented uh, on on video on the internet or presented themselves um, online so I think the, the visual quality that kind of the colors and almost reminds me of TV when I was growing up the, the kind of basic colors that kind of have a glow to them but then the YouTube aspect of it fascinates me I particularly like the really spooky one that has a kind of film quality to it where you kind of wonder what's going on it's not um, film uh, print number four and I think it's called unassisted childbirth um, and I suppose I want to know what happened before and after so I'm gonna have to now find the YouTube video so I like the idea of it being a kind of um, mystery as well and um, I'm looking forward to um, hopefully falling to buy one that would be nice wouldn't it